Today is the first day of spring, meaning many have their minds on getting gardens growing. Channel 3's Melissa Cooney joins us live from our WCAX orchard with the do's and don'ts as weather could be playing a big role on when you start planting. Melissa. Good morning, Alyssa and John. Well, that's certainly a true statement considering today's the first day of spring and it's snowing. So what temperature swings and like things from the July flooding, there's a lot of reasons why your garden might need to take some caution before you jump into things this spring. We really just want to remember that not to be tricked. Anne Hazelrig and Deb Haleba work with UVM Extension, running the plant diagnostic clinic and master gardener programs. They say spring's biggest hurdle is the weather, with unexpected warm days followed by the potential for snow and frost. But you can't trust the weather in Vermont until after Memorial Day, it seems like to me. So I would just warn gardeners, don't put your plants out early. You're going to put them in cold soils and they're just going to sit there anyway. A perfect example is the May frost last year, damaging acres and acres of orchards and plants alike. It may feel like it's in the rearview mirror, but July's historic flooding could impact your growing season now too. If a gardener did have problems with the flooding, um, they may want to consider, you know, using raised beds, you know, if they've got a low area or poorly drained area, use raised beds just to get those roots out of that water. Uh, saturated soils. If your garden was inundated last year, a concern is that runoff from the floodwaters could have contaminated your soil. We might see a lot of silting that um, the floodwaters left behind, so um, probably need to either remove that or mix it with nice organic matter compost. Um, highly recommend getting your soil tested. Another weather related change to be mindful of is the change in plant hardiness zones. This means it's warmer in Vermont than it used to be, so your plants might not perform as well as they have in the past, and you might notice new plants thriving in the slightly warmer climate. I'm in the mountains. Um, I used to be zone three. I think I'm now zone four. I don't want to pick a plant that's zone eight because it's not really going to perform the way that it's supposed to in my mountain location. And with gardening could come lots of questions. For more ways to get answers, UVM does have a helpline. We'll tell you more about that in our next half hour. Live in our WCIX Orchard, Melissa Cooney, Channel 3 This Morning.